Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and I'm here today to show you guys how to add this little grabber modification to the helicopter I showed you how to make in this video. So if you haven't seen that tutorial video yet, go ahead and give it a click, and then come back to this one so I can show you how to make this little modification here that allows your helicopter to remain stable while holding on to something like this wood block here. And not only that, but in this video I'm also going to show you guys the basics on maneuvering this helicopter while it's in the air. Because I've gotten a couple comments where people have complained that they're wings up here on the rotors have flown off because they well they turned them too far and i'll show you how you can avoid that because controlling this helicopter is all about light clicks you don't hold down a button you just lightly tap them in the direction you want to go up forward back left right and that's all you need to control it so anyways guys without further ado let's go on and move on to the tutorial okay guys so if you watched my previous tutorial video that i linked to you in the beginning of this one uh you'll notice that Although you have a grabber, you don't really have a way to kind of adjust for the weight that you'll be adding to it by grabbing one of these wood blocks here. So for example, let's get rid of this bomb. And that's actually another benefit. Uh, with this new modification, you won't have to drop your bomb like that. You can just set it gently on the ground with this modification I'm going to show you in a minute. But first, let me show you the benefit or the downsides of the current setup. So say you want to grab the wood block over here, right? So in order to grab it, you kind of have to run up to it. Uh, and then turn your butt around and then grab it. Now, let's keep my helicopter from taking off. Okay, so as it is right now, you've got good hold of it and the next objective is to kind of take it up in the air. So let's go ahead and lift off. All right, we're taking off, but now you, as you can see, we're really, really back heavy right now. Since we got rid of the ballast that's in the front, since uh, that was there to counteract the bomb, we no longer have anything to counteract the new weight that we've added to the back. Let's go ahead and make a minor modification that will allow you to drop this wood block right below the center of the helicopter and ma make sure that the helicopter remains stable in the air, allowing you to back away from the keyboard if you really wanted to. Okay guys, and we are back at the building area. So to make this new modification to the grabber, let's go ahead and first remove the bomb, the grabber, and then we need to then add the new piece, which is the steering hinge. So access either your mechanical or your basic section and click on steering hinge and go ahead and place it on the back of this landing gear. Now keep in mind, make sure when you place it that you have this arrow facing down like this, how the arrow kind of uh, points downward when you place it. Because if it's like this, it's going to turn left and right. So make sure you hit the R key enough times to cause the arrow to face downward. And go ahead and place it. Take your grabber, place it on top of that. And then of course you're still going to want to bomb things, so go ahead and take your bomb. And instead of like in the last tutorial where you placed it here, go ahead and place it on the back of the back piece all the way up here. And there you go. So as it is right now, if you hit play, the bomb will still drop onto the grabber and you can still use it just fine. So next up, you have to make sure to reassign your keys because since you got rid of the grabber and replaced it elsewhere, it is no longer set to zero like in the last tutorial. So make sure you set this to whatever your bomb setting is. In my case, it's zero on the number pad. And the steering hinge, because you want this to rotate up and down according to, well, at least in my case, I change it to my up and down arrow keys. So I want to make the left key down and the right key up. And then like so. So let's make sure that's set okay. So if I hit down, it'll go down. And if I hit up, it'll go up. And then let's hit zero to make sure that the bomb detaches as well as the front ballast. Perfect. And then finally, the last modification you are going to make is to this front ballast right here on the nose. In order to counteract the additional weight added by the steering hinge, you're going to have to raise the front ballast to 1.60. So you're going to have to add 0.5 to the current setting. So originally it was set to 1.10. Go ahead and increase this all the way up to 1.60. This should counteract, like I said, this should counteract the weight of the new steering hinge and make sure that the helicopter remains stable while it's in the air. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's go ahead and lift off into the air and make sure everything is nice and flat while it's floating there. All right, looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and drop the bombs. And it remains more or less stable. Yeah, it looks nice. And now you have the option of lowering this and raising this as well. Now this adds a couple of benefits. One, you can more easily grab the wooden blocks there at the ground, but also when you start the level, instead of risk blowing yourself up by dropping it here, because that's still quite a distance for the bomb to travel and you risk blowing yourself up at the beginning, you can actually just nice and simply just set it down and then detach and then you could just move on with your life. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you guys how to fly this helicopter efficiently. Uh, I'm, like I said it before, I'm not the best pilot, 
but I will show you the basics on how to control this hel helicopter so you don't crash it into the ground like so. Okay guys, now it's time to show you guys the basics of maneuvering this helicopter. So, when you start off, some of you guys have complained that the wings on the propellers tend to fly off uh, even when you first start the level. So the reason why is because the spinning blocks are probably set too fast. So if you bring these all the way up to two, you'll probably find that the propellers just go flying off. So let's, yeah. So I know in the tutorial video I showed you guys that bracing the wings like this would keep that from happening. but do do some weird bugs in the in the game or maybe it's part of the physics but when you add mass like the rest of the body and all these weapons and you know these uh, flying blocks uh, that will eventually cause the wings to fly apart even though we tested and made sure that that wouldn't happen by adding these braces so to keep that from happening go ahead and click on each one of these spinning blocks and reduce their speed all the way down to 1.50 don't worry it's still going to generate enough lift to take up take off into the air but we, the most important thing is being able to do that in the first place, and we can't do that if our wings are gone. So, just make that slight modification. Now, next, in order to you know fly, we kind of have to hit play, and now that shouldn't happen anymore. So, one thing you'll notice that when you hit play, now that your wings aren't flying off anymore, is that the helicopter is kind of being pushed into the ground. That is because the neutral setting kind of has a downward thrust on the helicopter so to keep that from happening right when you hit play go ahead and hit your lift button to kind of take the weight off the helicopter so right now i'm kind of just tapping it a little bit here and there once i take off a little bit, a little bit i go back to downward thrust and kind of just place it on the ground so it stops moving all right so next we are going to take off into the air now another thing that people complain about is that when they take off the wings fl tend to fly apart there as well and that is because if you press the lift button for too long will cause the wings to actually collide with one another like so. You don't want to do that. So when you're when you're lifting the helicopter off the ground, just lightly tap the lift button. You don't want to just go full force and watch them collide into each other. You want to just lightly tap them just enough so you generate some lift. Just like that, you can do it as slowly as you want. Obviously, certain maps that you can't afford to do it that slowly, so just get used to the timing. You can you can hold down the button if you know the timing on it to, ge to get it to the point where it generates just enough lift to take up off, off into the air. So like so. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss air maneuvers. To kind of keep it simple, I'm not gonna go into extreme maneuvers or anything like that. I'm, I mean, you can control the helicopter by holding down the forward button and holding down the back button, but for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna teach you guys the tap method. So in order to go backwards or forwards in this helicopter, you know, uh, reliably, you don't have to go full throttle each time, just like with the lift button. You can get away with it just by tapping it every couple times to kind of just go in the direction you want to go and then maintain that direction just like this and maintain momentum in that direction just like this. Now you can do the same with going forward like I did with going back and then just kind of keep tapping it so that it keeps going in that direction. So I'm kind of just tapping at that speed to make sure it just stays going forward in a forward momentum. Then same can be said for going left and right. If you press the tilt left, you can do the same thing just like so. and it, for tilt right, you can also do the same thing. Just keep tapping it so it just stays leaning in that direction. That applies to both forward, back, and also left and right. Now, there is one maneuver you can perform that does not require you to do the tap method. I mean, none of them require you to do, to do the tap method, but one that definitely does not require it is the rotation or the rudder left and right. That is because the way I designed it is so that the rudders kind of spin around the center of mass of the helicopter. So if you hold down rudder right left, it just keeps on spinning. It doesn't matter how long you hold it down for, but as long as you start it off in a stable flight, it'll just keep on going. And then same thing goes for rudder right, right. Obviously, you don't want to do that if your goal is to kind of just stabilize the aircraft. I mean, that is when you kind of want to tap it so you, you know, you make sure you're facing forward like so. But uh, it's just one of those controls that you really don't have to worry too much if you just hold it down. Okay guys, so next up I'm going to kind of teach you guys what kind of recovery options you have from something I, I don't know if this is the right terminology for helicopter maneuvers, but basically if you find yourself in kind of this swaying effect where 
you know, you're pressing right, left, forward, back, you'll notice that if you let go of that button, your helicopter will have a tendency to want to go back the opposite direction. And then when it goes back in that direction, it kind of wants to go forward again. So this is kind of caused by the propeller blades or the rotors natural tendency to want to face up. Now in the process of trying to go back to an upward position, it kind of overshoots it and then goes the opposite way into this kind of swaying effect and keeps on going back and forth, back and forth. Now uh, to kind of combat that, when you find yourself kind of, you know, swaying, for example, to the right, when your momentum stops, you're going to want to hit the right button again to kind of level off. Uh, if that wasn't clear, let's go ahead and go left. So once again, if you find yourself swaying to the left or right, just hit that button again in that direction when the momentum stops and then you'll kind of stop it where it's at and then level it off so that you kind of assist the propellers in facing up again. Same thing can be applied to forward and back mo motion. So it's going to go forward. You'll find that the helicopter will want to sway backward and when it does, just hit forward again and then level it off just like so. And also for back, if you go backwards, the helicopter will want to sway back forward and when it does and stops, hit back again and then level it off. There you go guys, that's how you kind of combat the swaying effect. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to uh, pick up these wood blocks using your shiny new grabber slash steering hinge thingy. So first off, you're going to want to ditch your bomb. So to do so, go ahead and do it safely by hitting your down arrow and lowering the bomb first and then dropping it using your drop bomb button. Now that you got rid of it, go ahead and raise your grabber back up. Not too far, otherwise you're going to risk breaking, <laughs> breaking your landing gear like that. So let's go ahead and start over. So once again, lightly drop your bomb. And same thing goes for the downward motion. Don't go too far, otherwise you will, you know, you'll flip a helicopter. And now we're ready to pick up some wood. Yeah. And do it a little more carefully than I, than I did last time because uh, that was actually just by luck that I spun around in time to go grab it. <laughs> so slowly approach the wood until the grabber attaches. Like so. Oh, like so. Okay, now that you have it. Go ahead and lower your helicopter a little bit so it remains stable on the ground. Now your goal is to lift off into the air just like last time, except after you lift off into the air, you have you now have the option of lowering the piece of wood so that it becomes more in center with the center of mass of your helicopter. So now you're able to leave the keyboard alone and you can fly just like normal. You no longer have this block of wood that's making your heli helicopter tilt backwards. So just like I taught you, fight the the uh, swaying effect, level the helicopter out, adjust the piece of wood so that it's more in line with the center of mass if when needed, and you should have a pretty stable helicopter. So yeah guys, that's how you maneuver a helicopter in the air, and that's how you pick up a piece of wood using your brand new shiny grabber. So anyways guys, uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, on the top left is the previous tutorial video on how to make the attack helicopter. On the bottom left, you'll find the first episode of me playing Besiege. And if you like this video, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, please stay tuned for more videos to come by subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.